location uh, yes sir yes okay uh, in 2 minutes we'll start all uh, all of you have come yes sir yes Okay, uh, let's start, Krishna. Uh, yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. Today's my topic is license induced glaucoma. A lens induced glaucoma, a form of the secondary glaucoma where lens plays a role either by size or position uh, or by uh, causing the inflammation. A most important cause of in, uh, irreversible loss of the vision, especially in the rural population and after the COVID. Uh, more common in the older age group and uh, more uh, predominant in the female. Uh, classification. It is based upon the secondary open angle glaucoma and the secondary close angle glaucoma. In secondary open angle glaucoma, that include phacolytic glaucoma due to the uh, related to soluble lens particle. And uh, another is uh, phacoanaphylytic uh, due to uveitis with secondary glaucoma uh, to antigen and antibody complex and uh, uh, antigen antibody complex and uh, that's added to the trabecular measure and lens, uh, lens particle glaucoma. That's uh, related to residual lens particle after the cataract surgery. And uh, secondary close angle glaucoma, it includes the phacomorphic glaucoma that's related to the size, uh, increase the size of the lens. Uh, example is intumescent cataract or traumatic cataract. And phacotopic glaucoma is related to site of the lens, that subluxated lens and dislocation of the lens. Uh, phacolytic glaucoma. There is a defective vision for month or year prior to the acute onset of the pain. There is no history of trauma and uh, acute pain, acute pain, redness and sudden loss of vision, uh, maybe a headache and vomiting due to the increased IOP. Uh, there is two theory. Uh, uh, first is a macrophage theory. Uh, as a lens changes with uh, increasing the edge, uh, the st uh, stretching of the lens capsule and uh, eye molecular weight uh, lens protein accumulated in the uh, accumulated in the cortex and protein leaks through the micro, uh, micro uh, microscopic opening in the lens capsule uh, that phagocyte by the macrophage and obstruct the trabecular mesh uh, work and uh, gradually rise the IOP. And second theory is a soluble lens protein, soluble high molecular weight lens protein that directly obstruct the trabecular measure and block the aqueous flow and acute rise of the IOP. Uh, now, uh, science is a vision uh, uh, if hypermature and mature cataract, the uh, vision is uh, amper to uh, end moment to uh, perception of the light. Uh, there is lead edema, circumcorneal congestion, and AZ cornea, uh, microcystic edema, uh, no capage. <clears throat> uh, there is uh, deep AC and heavy cells and flare in the AC, uh, lens material in the AC and pseudo hypopion uh, due to the lens material is seen. Uh, mid dilated pupil or fixed pupil is uh, uh, there and white spot on the anterior lens capsule. There is a wrinkle also be seen in the anterior lens capsule uh, due to the loss of the uh, cortex. Uh, raised IOP and uh, on gonioscopy, open angle is uh, seen. Uh, management mainly the reduced IOP and then the cataract surgery to uh, remove the cause. And combined surgery is done after um, chronic case more than three weeks or uh, more than four weeks. The combined surgery is cataract plus uh, trabeculectomy is done. Uh, Facolytic glaucoma should be handled as an emergency condition. Uh, initially, the acute lowering agent with combined with topical and systemic IOP lowering agent in topical timolol 0.5% uh, BD. If there is any heart problem or asthma, then we uh, jump into the uh, prostaglandin analog. Uh, 
एंड सिस्टम एक कार्बोनिक एनाइड्रेज इनिबिटर एसिटाजोलाम टू फिफ्टी एम जी बी डी फोर थ्री डेज एंड आफ्टर द हाइपर ओस्मोल बिफोर द ओटी आई वी मेनिट ऑल ट्वेंटी परसेंट वन टू टू ग्राम पर के जी इन थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनिट स्लो आई इन्फ्यूजन बिफोर द मेनिटोल वी कैन हिस्ट्री टेक द रिनल प्रॉब्लम एंड लिवर प्रॉब्लम एंड द हार्ट प्रॉब्लम कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन इज मेनिटोल इज सी एच एफ एंड रिनल फेलियर दट्रा इंडिकेशन टू मेनिटोल टॉपिकल स्टीरोइड प्रेडनीसोलन वन पर्सन टू रिड्यूस द इन्फ्लामेशन एंड टू रिड्यूस द पेन द होमेट्रोपिन साइक्लोपलॉजिक टू पर्सन बी डी वी कैन प्रिस्क्राइब द मेन डेफिनेटिव ट्रीटमेंट इज कैट्रेक सर्जरी प्लस आई वेल इम्प्लांटेशन और प्लस और माइनस ऑन टेबल सी टी आर इम्प्लांटेड और नॉट देर इज ऑन टेबल वी कैन चूज ई सी सी इज नॉट वेरी कॉमन सर्जरी इन देट स्केस बिकॉज ऑफ द रिस्क ऑफ द एक्सपल्सिव कोरोइड एलेमरेट ड्यू टू द सडन कम्प्रेशन ऑफ द एस आई सी एस इज सेफ एंड इफेक्टिव Uh, the feco uh, in uh, is the more experience to the surgeon uh, the uh, if more handling to the uh, more uh, more time and more uh, handling to the co uh, corneal endothelium then corneal edema and corneal endothelium cell count is lost after the cataract surgery Uh, the surgical complication is rare but uh, that's happen pcr increase capsular fragility zonular dialysis failure to uh, implant iol uh, leaking lens material into the vitreous then do ppv uh, and then this uh, cystoid macular edema is after one uh, after one month of the complication Uh, then now phacotoxic glaucoma it is also known as the lens particle glaucoma second uh, that is a secondary open angle glaucoma caused by the rupture of anterior lens capsule or the spontaneous uh, or the trauma to the lens and uh, posterior capsulotomy and after the cataract surgery uh, the residual cortex and residual uh, nucleus piece is remaining in the ac Uh, the rupture uh, anterior capsule lens the uh, liberate to the lens material in the ac uh, or uh, exposed to the lens material the inflammation and obstruction of the trabecular mesver both uh, is in uh, both cause the increase the uh, iiop Uh, the clinical feature is acute pain redness uh, reduce the vision corneal edema and hypopian and keratic precipitation is also be seen on the uh, over the endothelium and often associated with the anterior and posterior synecy and inflammation of the pupillary uh, membrane over the pupil Uh, the differential diagnosis is uh, phaco anaphylactic phacolytic and uveitic condition with uh, uh, associated with open angle glaucoma uh the same as so, uh, go back to previous slide yes sir how do you differentiate between this and the phacotoxic each one uh sir kp is uh, kp present on the endothelium and uh, maybe sir in phacolytic allergic, allergic reaction sir phaco anaphylactic Phacoanaphylactic, phacolytic. You have already told, na? What is the yes. difference between this and phacotoxic? Ah, uh, sir, residual lens material is uh, in the anterior chamber, and uh, phacolytic is no uh, any residual. Uh... Correct. Hmm. Then uh, uveitic. Uh, history of U uh, U V I T is is there and uh, K P is is also be there and iris pigment over the lens uh, on uh, iris pigment over the lens sir. and on right. trabecular mesh work uh, iris pigment to be seen correct yes and mid oh. phacoma anaphylactic glaucoma occurs in the same eye or the other eye. Okay, you are not uh, you are not told about equine athletic yet, na? Uh, no. Okay. Um, okay. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, the remove uh, remain the reduced IOP and remove the cause irrigation and aspiration by the uh, irrigation and aspiration of the lens material. Uh, the equine athletic, equine athletic with 
the secondary glaucoma there is hypersensitivity reaction type 3 arthritis type of the immune complex reaction uh, mediated by igg and uh, uh, complement system there is a granulo uh, granulomatous inflammation patient is sensitized to their own lens protein as an allergen after the trauma or cataract surgery a latent period 1 to uh, 14 days between uh, between lens protein expose and onset of the inflammation uh, the pathophysiology behind the phaco anaphylactic is disruption of the lens capsule uh, lens protein are exposed to the circulation recognized as a foreign body by immune system inflammatory reaction set up against the own lenticular protein and obstruction of uh, uh, trabecular work uh, with inflammatory cell and elevated the iob uh, the circumcorneal congestion cap is on endothel uh, corneal endothelium, iris pigment over the uh, lens, uh, moderate to uh, moderate uh, cells and flares, synergy formation. There is hypopion uh, with hypo hypema. Sometimes it is uh, seen, but this is a rare condition. Uh, if hypema and hypopion is seen, there is a definitive of the phaco anaphylactic. Uh, 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 glaucoma, uh, residual lens material in the AC and elevated IOP and open angle uh, on the gonioscopy. The management is, is reduce the IOP and uh, remove the cause uh, irrigation and aspiration of the lens uh, material. And if inflammation is intense, the oral prednisolone 1 mg per kg uh, once daily is uh, uh, prescribed and uh, anterior chamber was out uh, irrigation and aspiration. Okay, okay. so now, te now tell me the basic differences between the these three, because three are similar, echolytic, echotoxic and anaphylactic. So how do you differentiate? Uh, sir, phacolytic is uh, uh, lens, uh, there is no lens material in the AC and uh, in phaco, uh, lens induced uh, uh, in phaco anaphylactic, there is a uh, history of UVIT is, is there and uh, lens capsule is intact and my uh, wrinkle, uh, wrinkle is present, sir, on the capsule. Echo anaphylactic is uh, capsule is broken, uh, capsule break. So, phaco toxic and anaphylactic capsule is broken. Yes, sir. Okay. But otherwise, what is the difference between toxic and anaphylactic? Go to the first slide of phaco anaphylactic. Yeah, previously. Uh, type 3 integer. So, Same. here what happens is that there is a difference between exposure and then inflammation. Yes. Okay, so generally there is history of trauma. Initially, the eye is quiet and later patient develops UVIT. Yes, sir. Okay, sure. Yes. Next. There is a rare condition. I have not seen it. Uh, Usually, I have not seen, and but it can be seen even in one eye. If there is a trauma in one eye, the other eye may develop inflammation sometimes. Yes. Okay. Go to next. Uh, phacomorphic glaucoma, acute secondary angle closer glaucoma precipitated by in the intumescent cataract and traumatic cataract. Uh, more often seen is a com uh, compared to other lens induced glaucoma. Predisposing factor is smaller hyperopic eye, rapid developing senile cataract, zonular weakness, secondary to the trauma and the pseudo exfoliation. Pre existing narrow angle. Uh, there is a pathophysiology as a, a, a lens, uh, lens edges, the increased anterior posterior length and irido lenticular contact, the pupillary block and secondary uh, uh, irido trabecular contact and secondary angle closer glaucoma is developed. Uh, there is uh, eye pain, headache, uh, decreased vision, lead edema, circumcorneal congestion, and raised IOP and close angle uh, <coughs> on the gonioscopy. And other fellow eye is gonioscopy to rule out the occludable angle. Uh, the differential diagnosis 
primary angle closure glaucoma is a differential diagnosis. Uh, angle closure secondary to the anterior rotation of the iris lens diaphragm, such as the condition is choroidal mass, choroidal effusion, scleral buckling, uh, plateau iris, uh, and iris and ciliary body cyst, and subluxation or dislocation of the lens. Uh, the uh, difference between angle closure glaucoma and the phacomorphic glaucoma. Uh, in phacomorphic glaucoma, uh, there is senile cataract and traumatic. In, uh, in uh, primary angle closure, there is a hypermetropic eye, and uh, female is predominant in uh, primary angle closure glaucoma. No, any uh, <clears throat> in phacomorphic glaucoma. Uh, in phacomorphic glaucoma, contralateral eye may or may not be a cello uh, uh, AC. And uh, primary angle closure, both eyes is cello AC. Uh, and, uh, uh, phacomorphic unilateral mature cataract is there and lens uh, is clear or cataract genus NS223 is uh, primary angle closure glaucoma. Go back uh, to the previous slide. I think the important point is third point where contralateral eye may not have shallow AC. So yes. if there is any confusion, if it is angle closure or phacomorphic, of course, phacomorphic will not occur without uh, mature cataract. But if it is uh, there is a confusion. You can see the other eye also, and uh, you will find that it, it doesn't have the shallow, very shallow AC as compared to this eye. Okay, go ahead. Uh, management uh, anti glaucoma medication or hyperosmotic agent uh, for the lowering the IOP. Topical steroid uh, prophylactic laser peripheral iridectomy is done, and argon laser periphery iridoplasty if persistent IOP uh, is high. Uh, then surgical management, cataract extraction and combined surgery if long-standing cases uh, more than three to four weeks and sine formation is there and uncontrolled IOP is there, then the uh, cataract extraction plus uh, trabecula uh, trabeculectomy is done, surgical trabeculectomy. Uh, glaucoma associated with the ectopy lentis, uh, dislocation of the lens, complete displacement of the lens from the patellar fossa and lens can be dislocate completely into uh, anterior chamber or the vitreous and ectopic lens is termed to describe the congenital dislocation. Uh, there is uh, etiology behind uh, with the systemic association, Marfan syndrome, homocysteinuria, will marchesani syndrome, hyperlysemia, Stickler syndrome, and uh, Ehlers-Danos syndrome. Uh, without systemic association, family ectopic lentis, ectopy lentis at uh, pupilla and aniridia. <clears throat> mechanism of IOP behind the ectopia lentis is lens related cause and lens unrelated. In lens related cause, pupillary block by the lens, pupillary block by the lens and vitreous lens in AC, phacolytic reaction and peripheral anterior synergy by the chronic angle closer. And lens unrelated is angle recession, uh, AC angle anomaly, and uh, coincidence chronic open angle glaucoma. In Marfan syndrome, there is uh, autosomal dominant uh, autosomal dominant fibrillin gene is involved uh, and uh, 15 chromosome uh, is involved. Uh, there is a clinical sign outstanding of the eye. There is a long arm, uh, abnormal chest, heart and short uh, torso, uh, long, leg, uh, long leg and uh, cardiac anomaly is there, uh, mitral valve prolapse and uh, aortic aneurysm is there. Uh, then the cystic changes in the lung and uh, flat feet and curve the spine and ocular manifestation is axial myopia, uh, more than three diopter and megalocornea, uh, megalocornea is there, retinal detachment and bilateral symmetrical superior temporal subluxation lens is there. Uh, in homocysteine urea, uh, there is uh, defective of the homocysteine level and increase the homocysteine level. Uh, the, uh, a patient is a mental retarded patient uh, slightly and uh, bilateral symmetrical inferior nasal uh, subluxation is there, retinal detachment is there. Uh, Will Marchesani syndrome, it is an autosomal recessive syndrome. There is a short stature, so, uh, short finger, and mental handicap. Uh, in eye, uh, ocular feature is microspheropachia with anterior lens subluxation and angle anomaly and the glaucoma is uh, In ocular examination, the history should be taken, systemic history should be taken, uh, a cardiovascular system to rule out the uh, Marfan syndrome and, with, uh, and another syndrome to skeletal uh, uh, experience. Uh, ex 
outer look uh, of the skeletal muscle is uh, to uh, rule out uh, ocular trauma family history visual equity uh, varies with the degree of the malposition of the lens and amblyopia is a common cause of the decreased vision in the congenital ectopia lentils uh, the sign is uh, before the <clears throat> before the surgery we can do the all over the sign to rule out the, uh, to rule out how to uh, how to manage the complication uh, anterior chamber uh, the irregular flat and cells and flat uh, and vitreous in the ac or not uh, angle of the anterior chamber recession seen in the trauma and uh, presence and absence of the synecy uh, iridodonesis or transillumination is uh, there or not uh, pupil assessment is uh, ed uh, pupil assessment is take and lens position phacodonesis cataract and strength of the zone will to be seen uh, Compli uh, complicate dislocation, anterior dislocation, clear what lens, the, uh, anterior dislocation. How, how do you define megalocornea, Kishan? Uh, more than 13 mm diameter, sir. Correct, yes. Okay. Uh, in clear lens, uh, oil drop appearance with the golden luster of the rim. And cataract genus uh, lens, the whitish disc uh, uh, in the AC is seen. Iridocyclic is endothelial damage and secondary close angle glaucoma. Uh, posterior uh, dislocation of echia and lens in the vitreous. Raise IOP and dilated fundus examination to rule out the retina attached or not. Uh, management protocol in subluxation uh, lens is uh, subluxation. How clock? Uh, how, uh, much clock over is there if less than three clock over then uh, uh, slow echo parameter and uh, PCIL plus or minus CTR uh, if uh, subluxation is three to five clock over then slow echo parameter uh, CTR CTS C and uh, CO rings uh, is place and uh, uh, posterior chamber IOL is done if subluxation is five to seven clock uh, over uh, then slow echo power uh, CTR two CTS segment in either side if uh, right and left uh, and CO nearing and capsular retractor is uh, used uh, during the surgery and PC uh, and uh, posterior chamber IOL if more than seven clock hour is that then pars plana lensectomy and pars plana vitrectomy with SF IOL. <laughs> if uh, a dislocated lens then anterior uh, for SFIL. For SFL, what are the different techniques that you know? Kemane, sir. Okay, that is one. Any other? Agarwal. Okay, blue fixation, interest level. Okay. Yes. okay. Scleral. Then? There are also sutured techniques. You, you can have a SFIL with eyelet and you can suture it to the sclera by 90 proline. Yes. Okay. Or there is double flange yes. technique where you use 60 proline and uh, create two bulbs to attach it to the sclera. Yes, sir. Then, then there, there is a newer type of IOLs like Carlywell IOL or uh, CMT flex and uh, one more lens is there where you can you have a hydrophilic aisle where the each type haptics are there which can be placed in the scleral pocket. Yes, sir. Okay, so these are different techniques of scleral fixated IO. Okay, go ahead. Anterior dislocation, surgical minute removal through the limbal approach and posteriorly surgical removal with complete vitrectomy with uh, vitrectomy cutter and phagofragmentation with phagofragmentome. Uh, the capsular tension ring. Uh, the mechanism behind the capsular tensioning is circular expansion of the capsular bed, uh, stable condition during the surgery, improve the IOL centration 
and decrease the risk of capsular fibrosis after the surgery resist the capsule uh, capsular shrinkage and indication is damage the zonal uh, uh, lens subluxation eye myopia and pseudo exfoliation there is three type of uh, ctr uh, uh, 14 14a and 14c uh, depending upon the axial length uh, if axial length is less than 24 then use 14 if uh, between the 24 and 40 uh, 28 uh, it use 14c and uh, more than 28 the 14a is used and then co nearing this uh, indicating the damage on you large, uh, larger than the four clock hour uh, lens subluxation pseudo exfoliation and high myopia and uh, mechanism is similar to the uh, uh, ctr and additionally correct the capsular bag uh, decentration uh, there is a uh, five type of uh, CO nearing. Uh, the 1G, 1L, uh, or 2C, and 2L and 2S. What is Malugin's uh, modification of uh, CT, uh, CTR? No idea, sir. So in Malugin modification, instead of the eyelet in between, the tip of the uh, the one end of the ctr itself is bent anteriorly okay so that one end works like yes. a eyelet okay yes so that uh, malugin modified ctr can be injected through ctr injector also because these other cionoid type they cannot be injected through uh, injector because they have this eyelet in between yes okay you can read it see the video also malugin ctr yes uh, the ahmed ct and uh, yes. you you told about size of the ctr uh, yes sir yeah so what size is preferred in which type of cases so normally there is a 20.3 uh, matlab 14 type is used so generally the CTRs that we get, we don't have this uh, type written. So usually they write the smaller size, which is 10 and the expanded size, which is 12. Like usually we get CTRs like 10, 12, 11, 13, 12, 14, like that. Yes. Okay. So generally 10, 12 or 11, 13 is commonly used because most of the time we get eyes less than 28 millimeter axial length. If it is too big, then we have to specially order 12, 14 CTRs. Yes. Okay. Uh, the Ahmed ring, a partial ring of the Pama covering the approximately one quadrant, all for the permanent fixation to the sclera, and one or more segment may be used for the support the area of big capsule. And advantages improve the more stability to the bag and improve the IOL centration. There is small video for the So here, uh, the CT segment is sutured using the 90 proline. Yes. Okay. So that is a railroading technique through the scleral flap around 1.5 millimeter from the limbus. Okay. And the uh, proline is already threaded through that eyelet uh, with double-ended needles. So both ends are taken out through this uh, Sclera. So nowadays, what I do is I don't use the 90 proline, I use 60 proline. And uh, so we don't need a double pass. And what we do is a double flange technique where the uh, proline ends are then uh, using the low thermal cautery, we make it into bulb like Yamanis. Yes, sir. I think just uh, two, three days back, I did one more, one case. So So actually, in this case, you can see that one of the eyelet was broken of the CT segment. 
unfortunately i didn't have a spare ct segment so i used the same and uh, carefully placed it in the bag and then sutured it to the sclera you can see now once i suture or once i pull those uh, proline sutures uh, you will find that the bag gets centered so i think this was a marfan's case so this was a marfan's case of course in marfan case nowadays there is a thinking process that better than uh, scleral fixating the iol it is better to just remove the lens and uh, then uh, use uh, either yamane or other uh, technique of scleral fixated iol because it's a progressive uh, disease and uh, even if you fix it on one point with ct segment it may later on subluxate from the other side but if it is at post traumatic cataract then it works well because in post traumatic cataract the remaining zonules are usually strong and uh, generally there is no progressive loss of uh, zonules in post traumatic ones but pxf and marfan's are progressive condition so we have to think in those terms also whether the iol will be stable of course the subluxation doesn't take place immediately it may take 5 to 10 years later so still there is some time in hand Yes. Okay. <clears> that summary: A comorbid glaucoma intumescent cataract puts the iris narrowing the angle or uh, uh, opposes the pupil margin, causing the pupillary block. In facolytic glaucoma, a mature cataract leaves the denaturated lens protein and macrophages and phagocytos reach the protein, uh, this protein and clog the trabecular mesure. In phagoantigenic, normal lens protein leak into the anterior uh, chamber after the uh, trauma or capsule disruption. A granulomatous reaction to this normal protein ensure and lens particle. The piece of the lens particle after the cataract surgery physically obstructs the angle. Thank you, sir. Okay, good presentation. Anybody has any questions, doubts? Yes, sir. I'm up, sir. Huh? Um, sir, sir, I had a doubt. Sir, in phacomorphic yeah. glaucoma, if the AC is shallow, uh, is uh, yak PI necessary before the cataract surgery, or we can should directly take it for the cataract surgery? Because uh, uh, so there are many ways to. First of all, though the IOP should be controlled by medical management, IV mannitol. Okay, uh, so that reduces the intraocular pressure. Then uh, second, for the uh, uh, reducing the lens intumescence. we have different ways to do deal with it yak cap free op is one of the ways some surgeons do it uh, then other ways are we use the high uh, heavy ovd then make the central puncture then aspirate the lens matter or the fluid and then we complete the rexis or we can do double rexis also like make a small rexis first aspirate everything and then make a larger rexis so pre op yag i have not used and uh, Oh, so we can try it, but there is a one issue is that if the if the intumescence is very high, and if you do yag, it itself may cause Argentinian flag even before you take up the patient. So it, I feel it is better to uh, do the capsular opening after you have filled the anterior chamber with uh, heavy OVD, so that allows uh, the pressure to be balanced, and then you can create the nick and create either a small rexis first or then aspirate. And then complete the rexis. Okay. So vitreous tap is also suggested if it if the uh, chamber is very shallow. So uh, yeah, that also can be done. If uh, even after IV mannitol, if the IOP is not reducing, then vitreous tap can also be done. Uh, vitreous tap is useful, particularly if you are planning a trabeculectomy also along with the. Peco, uh, cataract removal. Okay, sir. Sir, we can use uh, femto laser surgery uh, for the capsule or uh, CCC in uh, peco morbid glaucoma. Yeah, if the cornea is clear, then it can be used. But uh, if cornea is hazy, then femto may not have you know may not work effectively. 
so that is the problem but it has been described and used okay any other questions and another issue with phacolytic or phacomorphic is sometimes the epithelium is hazy and when you take up the patient for surgery because of the high iop that the patient had so either we can give solin drops pre operatively to clear it up but still if it is hazy on table you may need to debride it if the visibility is a issue and uh, so uh, that makes the surgical field clearer otherwise the central part may remain hazy and difficult to operate yes sir. okay done okay thank you sir. okay sure. thank you